Welcome back to the channel. So it's Thursday night, I've finished work, I'm heading home, and that's me done with commuting for the winter. I'm not doing any f minus four commutes anymore. <laughs> My van's going to be ready next weekend, and if it's not ready, I'm going to lift a couple of grand and just buy a wee cheap car. So the bike's filthy from two weeks commuting, it's coated in road salt. I covered it in GT85 after the last time I washed it two weeks ago, but it's going to have to get rust proofed with some Lano Guard and a few other things I've still got. Anyway, um, so I'm back home, I'm on a week's holiday, I've got loads of stuff to do next week. Um, I'm just going to open up these panniers and just show you quickly the extra stuff I carry. Stuff I've still to add is like spare, clutch and throttle cables and spark plug. You carry that with every motorbike. Um, yep. So, a um, couple of sets of waterproof trousers and jacket, but the jacket seems to be missing because I just remembered I've left it in the Jeep. However, you'll see some ammo pouches, a head torch, which is always handy in winter commuting <laughs> emergencies, and some old ammo pouches, which I've just filled up with stuff. And you can also see that these crap, cheap Indian copy at Royal Enfield Panniers leak. So there you go, that ammo uh, pouches soaking wet. Um, but yeah, and a block of wood. Now, why is that? I'll show you in a minute. So we've got a 19 inch front tube in one of them. Now, I've, these are Michelin inner tubes that are probably the best inner tubes you can buy. I'm not going to fit these when I change my tires, I'm going to keep these as spares. And um, a lot of folk don't bother carrying anything like this for punctures and stuff, but these are tube wheels. They're really easy to change the tires, the uh, tube, sorry, in the event of a puncture. So this is basically everything you need. So in the other ammo pouch, I've got some CO2 canisters and adapter, and uh, obviously an 18 inch rear tube, which is slightly smaller, hence I can get the CO2 canisters in. The reason they're in ammo pouches so nothing rubs, everything's sealed in zip tie sandwich bags that you buy in Tesco or whatever and um, severance waterproof. And uh, in the other pouch I've got tools so we've got some plastic rim protectors so I can change my tyres, remove them without scratching the anodizing. And you'll see here this is actually a mountain bike pump, these are brilliant, this is a Lazine pump. And you see it's got duct tape wrapped around it. Well, it's actually Gorilla tape. Um, so that'll inflate a five inch fat bike tire with 150 pumps. So it'll do a motorbike tire less. Then we've got some mini tire levers. But first of all, in the event of a puncture, tire weld. So say I've picked up a screw nail or a nail and my tire's flat or half flat. I'll try a tire weld. If that doesn't work, then I can put the bike on the center stand there and move the front or rear wheel with the tools and remove the tire and fit a new tube. There you go, there's the tire levers there. Um, now, a lot of folks think you can't remove tires with levers that small. It's about technique, not the length of levers. So what's this block of wood for? Well, this is quite simple. So this is cut to 12 inches in length and uh, Lift your front wheel slightly, slot that under. Now you've got the tire clearance to drop your front wheel and get it out. There you go. So you can get your front wheel off without any jack or big massive wooden block or milk crate or anything. Now, if you're going to remove your rear wheel, tip your bike, as Royal Enfield will tell you to get someone else to help you with, to remove the rear wheel. But if you're on your own, then you just clip this bit of CLS wood on its side Slow it under the centre stand like that, and there you go, you've got your tyre to ground clearance to get your back wheel out. It is that simple. So, there you go. So the reason I thought I'd show you uh, this video was I had to get the tyre levers because I've got these that have arrived to fit on the bike this week when I'm on holiday. Um, I can't actually pronounce the make of them, but they're Dutch. Um, but they're exactly the same tyre size. Uh, it's quite confusing when you're going from metric to imperial with tyre sizes. 
It's quite simple, the back's 4 inch but the front should be 350 but it's quite hard finding a 350 by 19 front tyre. And I wanted to go for square tread, classic style, but these will be better for road like riding with this bike. It's not a green lane, heavy off-road bike, it's, um, you know, it's an infield. Um, so they'll get these put on tomorrow morning, that's a bit of wood that I'll show you for sitting on. And I've got this to do this week, this is a clutch kit that's a ride for the Willis Jeep. <laughs> Wish me luck doing this, but I've got a friend who's an ex-ambulance mechanic the Glenders, he's going to give us a hand. So that's it. So catch you tomorrow for some tire fitting. Bye for now.